You have five minutes to make your opening scene. Please, I have a family, please. Implying that someone without a family deserves to be shot more than someone with a family. And yet, this is exactly what a lot of people would say in real life if someone was holding a gun to their head. Sure, it's not a morally accurate statement, but if he said, please don't shoot me, I have the exact same value as everyone else, that would be terrible dialogue. Your plan would be? Same as always. Squeeze the c*** that gives up the next c*** and kill the f Listen, Billy, as endearing as your colorful grasp of- Skip. Congress, please. What a bunch of corrupt f***ing c*** they are. I know you think being from New Zealand makes you extra cool, but before you start insulting our sh government, maybe pay attention to how your own parliament treats Maori folks. The point is, all governments suck. I mean, you're correct in this sin, all governments absolutely do suck, but that's not a sin of this episode. Seriously, you just agreed with what Butcher said and then gave it a sin. Person to call me a c Mr. Butcher. I'm starting to think it's like a badge of honor. Tim it and deal where I come from, love. This is true. Or at least, I hope it's true. Skip. It might look bizarre to us, but this is the correct amount of digits for a UK-based mobile number, including the country code. So here's a sin for the poor real-world person whose number this is and the 25 missed calls I gave them, pretending to be Billy Butcher. And here's a sin for you making this unfunny joke that nobody laughed at. Well, nobody with a decent sense of humor, that is. We know someone who might know the full picture. Who was it? Like you said. We're gonna have to trust each other. She's talking about Vogelbaum, but why does it have to be kept a big secret? I mean, it's no secret he was the CSO for Vaught, and if Mallory told Senator Brain Blitzer who she's talking about, couldn't Congress just subpoena him? And more importantly, do I get any points for spelling subpoena correctly? Look, I know Mallory just mentioned trust, and you take everything you hear at face value without reading between the lines, but the clear implication from this scene is that Mallory doesn't trust Newman. Man, I guess there's a pretty hard line between being bulletproof and being smacked in the face with a pole. Proof. Notice how it takes many whacks to knock her out while she's also being weakened by the gas grenades? Yeah, all the regular people got knocked out by the gas immediately, but Starlight takes much more to go down, so there's no reason for you to be complaining right now. Wanna watch Deep Does It in the Blowhole? Questions I'm more likely to entertain include... Skip. So here's five sins for the hour I spent trying to force Dolph Lundgren's name into a dolphin-based parody title, but abandoned because I couldn't quite get it to, whoa, oh, oh, Dolph Lundgren's Dolphin Heat. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, shit. No, you don't need the discs. You can just download. Yeah, but then you always need an email or a credit card or something, and then there's the risk of downloading a virus and, uh, or uh, other things. Things my buddy said happened when they downloaded for a friend of a friend. Ha ha ha. He watch porn. That make him funny. No, seriously. Who the hell is laughing at this garbage? Wanna watch next? Uh, translucent invisible c Wait, if it's invisible, then what's the point? Isn't the entire purpose of Skip. You know I was a prodigy? Why? Did Paramount cancel you too? Discount Jeremy makes a pop culture ref. There's gotta be something, right? Like a, like a secret entry? No, there doesn't. My house doesn't have a secret entrance. It's not like the state of New York City planning department compels you to have a secret entrance in case of jailbreak. Okay, but Vought Tower does have another entrance. I mean, if you provide a valid reason for why that's a mistake of the episode, I'll agree with you. But so far, you've provided nothing. Maybe one or two. One or two? Why are there any? Do emergency exits not exist in your world? Do service entrances not exist too? Fine, I mean, do you want to be the cuck or do you want to be the guy who f***s the wife? Wait, but in this colorful metaphor, isn't the wife in question Starlight? Yeah. What are you struggling to comprehend this time? Within the metaphor, f***ing represents busting someone out of captivity and the wife represents Starlight. What's the issue with that? Are you going to explain why that's a mistake? No? Okay. No, 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 no. he hasn't got much time. Not my problem. That's yours, because you stayed with the c Have I ever asked you for anything? Ever? People who say this as if the absence of things they've previously requested of you has bought some kind of favor-based store credit to purchase the thing they want you to do now. Ma'am, this is not Macy's. While I agree that it's a shitty thing to do, it's still not a sin of the episode because people do this all the time in the real world. Just go listen to Broski. You step one inch closer. 
And I'll kill you quicker than that fucking ass cancer. Depending on what area of the arse he's specifically referring to, the five-year survival rate is between 80 to 90 percent. So while true, this really isn't much of a flex, Billy. Padding the sink count and runtime. You have superpowers, mm -hmm. huh? That makes you very, very special. Telling a child something they were born with makes them very, very special. That's how you wind up with a brat like Timmy in The Secret of Nim 2. Discount Jeremy makes a pop culture. I brought you something just to make up for all the sh** I used to do to you. I can't work out if this is a genuine apology or if that goldfish did something to piss off A-Train and this is revenge. Okay, and what's this in? Me and this marathon used to sneak college girls in this way. Vaught Tower, home of the soups, and no doubt a ton of dirty secrets should be secured like Fort Knox and they walk in through a vent? At what point does a secret entrance become so f***ing obvious that it's relegated to just entrance? There are a few issues with this critique. If the show was supposed to be a super serious drama or something, I would absolutely agree. But it's a satirical show that makes fun of superhero media, so this could easily be chalked up to an example of that. There's also the fact that Vought's security has been characterized as comically bad numerous times, both in this show and in Gen V. No matter how you slice it, this isn't a mistake of the episode, although I don't really blame TV Sins for thinking it is. Either still in the system, or we're about to be swarmed by guards with AKs. Yay, finally some action. I mean, there's no way he's still in the system, so we're finally going to see some shooting and souping any sec- And boom, bitches! Why would he still be in the system? Again, satire and also the way Vought has been characterized. Not to mention the fact that he was still working for a Vought subsidiary as of very recently, and they don't know what happened to him yet. So are you into any things that, you know, kids are into? Yeah. Like, uh, NBA 2K? PewDiePie? Wait, if PewDiePie exists in this universe, that probably means YouTube exists, which means maybe, just maybe, TV sins exist? I sure hope not. I was raised the same way as him. You were kept in a cage behind glass, dude. This kid has his mom right next to him, full run of a huge house, and f***ing Legos. These are not even remotely the same environments. Obviously, that's true if you take what Homelander says at face value, but you have to take the show's context into account, which seems like it would be pretty obvious for people who watch shows for a living. Anyway, Homelander is referring to being sequestered in one area for your entire childhood without a father figure. The next two sins in a row are both just pointing things out on the screen. It ever occur to you, the pain you cause sorry bastards like me? Oh <laughs> really, Butcher? Your pain? Not the pain of Rebecca after being sexually assaulted, or the hundreds of families that have suffered because of Homelander, but your pain. That's what Vogelbaum should really atone for. This is called characterization. Butcher has become blinded by his rage and hatred. He's allowed his self-pity to overcome everything else. That's not a sin in the episode. As I said at the beginning of this sin, it's characterization. He moved my statue? He's right to be shocked. These assholes took his statue down before removing his access to the building. Discount Jeremy double dips cliche. He has enough time to watch a man burst into flames, ponder it for a few seconds, and disconnect his hand before any security arrives. Where are the guards? On their way from somewhere else? I mean, if the fire alarms are going off, then they need to use the stairs, and this is a pretty big building. Not to mention there wasn't supposed to be anyone in this particular room to begin with. Need his hand. <laughs> that fake-ass laugh. How the f*** did Black Noir know that she'd escaped and would decide to come to the 99th floor? He didn't. He simply looked around until he found her. How is that so difficult to understand? This fire alarm's been going off for a while now, so what's the procedure when it comes to evacuating Vought's prisoners in the event of a fire? And if the answer is let them burn, why have a f***ing alarm inside their cell? Simply asking this question doesn't automatically necessitate a sin. The answer to it isn't important to the episode because we're not focusing on Vought's evacuation plan. We can speculate on what it might be, like maybe they evacuate prisoners last, but it ultimately doesn't matter, so there's no point in sinning it. Oh, I'm afraid Hugh let our star witness burn himself to death. Let? If Lamplighter was determined to self immolate what the f*** could Huey have done about it whether they were involved or not? Discount Jeremy doesn't understand that Mallory is upset right now. Jesus. It took you this long to cut the feed? Yes. What the f*** do we do now? Stare off into the middle distance as angrily as possible, apparently. No. Angrier. Angrier. Slight lip wobble. Good, good. Now imagine never getting a chance to make Star Trek 4 and boom, there we go. Discount Jeremy makes a pop. Oh, 